Okay, so once you're happy with the, the way the job's turned out, we can switch the laser off. Okay, and then you'll need to retrieve your work. Uh, what I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll just demonstrate what some students do to try and keep things in position. Uh, sometimes they may want to, to, to use everything here. It's not necessarily uh, all rubbish. They might want to use everything. So sometimes they'll take, take their work down. So I'll just pause the video and show you what they would do with their masking tape. Okay, hopefully you can see what I've done here. I've, I've placed a, a strip of masking tape diagonally right across the, the items and you just press down very gently. You don't want to, the tape to stick too well, but it will help hold things in position. So if I lifted this up now, most of the material, most of the things will fall through, but these should stay in position. Ah, we lost, we lost one window. Okay, All right, let's stick it on a bit more. Okay, so you can see what happens. Everything else has basically fallen through, but the stuff with the masking tape has basically stayed in position. Okay, so let's take the uh, take the material off now, and uh, remember we've got to clean up after ourselves. The kit of parts here, and over on this side I've got a couple of the trusses. Uh, the, the mounting board that I used was coloured on one side and white on the other. So this looks a bit strange, you know, having it one side and the other. So what I'm going to do is remake the trusses uh, from a couple of different materials so I can decide later which one I want to use. Uh, so you don't have to use the same material for everything. You can mix and match to get a bit of, bit of colour, a bit of uh, identity into the, into the model. Okay, so down here is just the pile of debris which will lift out of the machine and what we don't want you to do is just scrape this material into the underside of the machine. Okay, this isn't a rubbish area. It's space for the deck to move up and down and you don't want to get anything jammed in these spiral jacks. So don't use this as a, as a place to, to just dump rubbish. Okay, we'll take it out of the machine carefully. We've used a, a few more different colored uh, materials to, to add a bit of interest to the model. Uh, the kind of standard cardboard gives a very delicate work to the trusses. They're almost almost kind of gossamer, kind of like wings of a fly. Okay, uh, they might be a bit too delicate to work with. We'll see. And I've used the grey material for the roof uh, just to give it a bit of contrast. So we'll. Uh, We'll take this stuff off the, the deck and we'll we'll clean the, the workspace. You can see here there's you can see the shape of the trusses there, the uh, the resins and the glues inside these kind of composite boards uh, kind of pushes through in the smoke on and condenses on the on the aluminium. So we have to remove that using a, a solvent. Okay, so here's the here's the solvent spray that we use, just a a, a more powerful kind of domestic cleaning fluid and you spray that onto the to the dirty area let it soak in for a few seconds don't be too hasty to wipe it off okay sometimes a bit of scrap cardboard makes a good uh, uh, kind of squeegee okay but you should find that the the stain lifts quite easily okay the degreaser like this Okay. So you don't want that to stick to the next piece of material you put on, and you don't want that to go onto the material the next person puts on. So uh, please clean up after yourself. Okay, and last thing to do, okay, just close up and you switch off the machine.
just a few quite varied creations that have been made using a laser cutter. today's little creation. A very elegant kennel, if I say so myself. <laughs> 